All right, let's do uh, one of the somewhat more complicated bearing problems that uh, you can do with law of cosines. Part of this can be done with law of sines if you know it, but uh, in this context, I'm going to do it purely with law of cosines. Um, so you you start out, it's a, a ship or a plane or something. Let's say it's a ship. Starting out at point A, creatively named, and going down southeast, and I'm going to say a little bit more about how that would be, be described, and let's say for five kilometers. And then getting to point B and turning uh, northeast and going seven kilometers to point C. And the way that its directions are described is, there's various ways of doing this, but one of the standard ways is we're going to imagine starting out at A, pointing due south, so we're going to put an S, so we're going to say from A, we're going to say start out temporarily pointing due south, but don't go due south, and then turn 35 degrees, it's kind of hard to see, but 35 degrees to the east. That's called a bearing. Okay. <clears throat> and that's um, directions for getting to point, point B. It's like polar coordinates. It's a magnitude, 5, and a direction. It's just, unfortunately, the direction is relative to north and south, in this case south, um, not, not east, which would be polar. Okay, and then at point B, what the ship does is it follows a new uh, bearing. From B, it goes north. And this, let's say, this is 40 degrees. So it's north, 40 degrees east, which again says point temporarily north, but don't go in that direction. Turn 40 degrees east and then go off in that direction and go for 7 kilometers. So the two questions are, one, how far is point C from point A? So for example, if I wanted to return the short way from C to A, how far would it be? That's what's usually called side little b, because it's opposite point big B. And how would I get there? What direction would I head in? Or what would my, be my bearing? And so again, that's relative to north, south, east, west. So we want to get, is the second part of the problem, we're going to want to get that guy. So it's more natural to solve the, the distance problem first, because that's the, um, and it can may be made into an SAS law of cosines problem. OK, so uh, the first thing you need to do is some angle chasing. And in particular, do not confuse the actual three sides of the triangle that are actual paths of the ship with the north, south, east, west. OK, it's very easy to get those confused. But you still want to have those north, south, east, west. And in particular, you can continue these lines so that they intersect to make right triangles, which are really useful. Or you can always use that this east-west line is parallel to this guy, etc. OK, so uh, one of the things um, we need to know is, well, to get the law of cosines working, we definitely need this angle. Or that's going to be the best thing, because that's going to be an SAS. And so the angle chasing is really a conversion process. It's converting from these artificial angles that are all relative to uh, compass directions, north and south, but not relative to the directions we're actually going. We want to convert those to angles between two parts of the actual triangle we're trying to analyze. It's all about this triangle, but we're not given those angles directly. We need to convert. OK, so we were given the 40, which sits inside this big angle. So if we could get this angle, we'd be good. And that's where we use that these two north-souths are, are parallel. So we're given that uh, this is 35, and so alternate interior tells us that that's 35 as well. OK. So that's going to be a 75 degree angle. And we're good to go on law of cosines with SAS. So I go ahead, went ahead and pre-wrote that down. Here we go. OK. So. Uh, b squared is going to be a squared, which is 25, plus, uh, sorry, this is c squared, c squared plus a squared, 25 plus 49, minus 2 times 5 times 7, that's 70, times the cosine of that 75 degree angle. That turns out to be 55.83, just calculating it out. And so b is going to be the square root of that, or about 7.5. Okay, so this is 7. 
7.4, let's say 7.48. And we'll keep, I'm going to keep all the accuracy. If, and again, always, if you possible, using a calculator, keep all that accuracy that you can, especially using things like second answer, second entry, store if necessary. Try not to degrade the accuracy in intermediate parts of the problem. But roughly, it's 7.5. Okay. And always do a reality check. Okay. If you come out with 748, in, like here, or 0.7, it's not going to be right. Okay. You should also draw your picture somewhat accurately, um, especially it's going to be relevant that um, this, I think, and it's not quite clear, but I think since these angles are pretty close to equal and this is substantially longer than this, I think C is going to end up north of A. And we could check that if we're really careful, but it could be rather confusing if um, we get that, if we guess that wrong. Okay. So, that's the first part of the problem. That's how far it is to go from C back to A, about 7.5 kilometers. Now, what about the, um, the angle here? Now, remember, this is an angle. We eventually want to get a bearing angle from, from south, but I claim the first thing to do is get an angle in a triangle. That's because we know this angle already. This is part of the givens. So this is one of the original journeys that the information was given about. Its direction is known. Namely, that was the 40. And so this direction, should, this angle should be known as well, because it doesn't have to do with the new information of the other side of the triangle. So this is known, and we'll get that in a second. If then we get the angle between the two motions, the incoming to C and outgoing back to A, then we'll be able to get this guy. So specifically, this angle is, again, an alternate interior angle to the 40. And so that's going to be 40 degrees. And if we can get this angle, then we're just going to add them together to get the bearing angle here. So that's why we need to get angle C, which is this guy. So that's all, always how it goes. No, so notice, I, I, I put this 2 here. It was 1 here, and I never put a 2. Two Step 2 for the first part of the problem was law of cosines, and it was SAS. Okay. In the second part of the problem, getting the angle, these guys are reversed, and this becomes SSS, although you can use law of sines if you know that. We want to get an angle inside the triangle, and then we're going to do a little bit of angle chasing. We're going to add this 40 degrees to get this whole thing. So they do get uh, the conversion, conversion step and the law of cosine step get reversed. Okay, so we write down law of cosines again, but ro rotated so that we have, um, we're getting, let's see, the 7 squared and the b squared, okay? So that's this side, little a squared and b squared. That's because we want to talk about the angle between them. And then minus 2 times this times this times cosine of c. And that's all equal to the square of the opposite side. And we just solve that. Sometimes people memorize this version, which is solved for cosine of an angle. I don't necessarily encourage that. Just memorize one version, then just do a little bit of algebra. OK. Then just simplify that. Now we need to take the inverse cosine. And it gave it to me in radians, and so I converted to uh, degrees. If, you do in, if you're on the calculator, just make sure you're in, you're in degree mode. OK, 40.246. So this guy here inside the triangle is 40 and a quarter. And then we already saw how this guy plus the 40 that we already knew would combine to be the actual angle. And so that's going to be 80.246 degrees. And that's what I have here. Now, how do you write that? That is m southwest. And so if you start out heading set or facing south, and you don't actually go in that direction, but you crank over way, way over 80.246 towards the west, almost to, to do west, almost uh, within 10 degrees of it, then that's going to be the angle. And so that's going to be south, that, and then west.